Doctors at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston have a new weapon in their fight against cancer. This short film explains how the so-called pencil beam scanner is allowing doctors to target tumours with great precision. The scanning beam is deployed clinically here at MGH and the patients that we've treated thus far have benefited from the superior dose distributions and uh, hence have reduced side effects. The general benefit of proton therapy over more broad brush techniques such as X-ray therapy is the precision with which proton beams can be directed at cancer cells. Protons are steered accurately using magnetic fields. They deposit nearly all their energy at a single locality. This limits the damage to surrounding healthy tissue. The types of tumours that we treat in proton therapy are, um, or the types of sites that we treat are the eyes, uh, brain, central nervous system, um, bone, uh, soft tissue, and um, I'll give one example in more detail, uh, the sarcoma of the abdomen. Depending on the location, uh, conventional x-ray therapy uh, will have multiple directions and they will deposit dose both upstream and downstream of the tumor volume. And some of these beams are intersecting critical structures such as uh, the colon or the kidneys. Uh, proton beams, because they actually stop in the tumor, we can usually choose directions which allow us to position the beams to either reduce the dose in or completely avoid these, these sensitive uh, organs. Um, and this has uh, reduced side effects. Typically patients receiving proton therapy come to the hospital for about 30 sessions spread over six weeks. But while the hospital places a lot of effort on patient care and support, it is still undoubtedly a daunting experience, especially for the first few sessions. Patients are fastened to a movable platform and need to wear a special protective mask which has been custom made to fit their faces. And the doctors need to implant a plastic device surgically to guide the beam inside the patients. So initially the proton beam is like a beam at a particle physics facility. Um, it's narrow, mono-energetic, uh, but the beam energy is typically in the range of about 100 to 300 MeV. So, we have to spread this tumour out both laterally and in depth uh, to be able to treat a three-dimensional target volume. With conventional beams, the beam is initially uh, much wider than the, the target to be treated. And if we, there are no further beam modifying devices, it will treat a volume which is shaped like a large cylinder inside of the patient. We obviously don't want to do that, uh, so what we do is we insert a piece of plastic just upstream of the patient and this plastic is milled into a special shape and so the surface of this plastic is exactly matching the downstream surface of the tumour. So when the proton beam passes through this plastic it loses a little bit more energy and the peaks are pulled back into the target region and so the dose is conforming to this downstream surface of, of the tumour. At MGH the doctors are starting to use a new type of beam that is even more accurate than conventional proton therapy. The pencil beam allows more precise shaping of the beam's range as doctors can adjust the beam throughout the therapy as if they were painting the tumour. Alright, so we are developing an alternative approach which is called pencil beam scanning and uh, it offers superior dose distributions and it is a more efficient technique. In pencil beam scanning we take the narrow unmodified beam from the beam line and we steer it magnetically in scanning patterns that are synchronised with beam energy changes and also uh, with the beam intensity. The number of protons, the position and the depth of the Bragg peak are, are directed to every point inside of the target volume and Bragg peaks are only delivered where they are needed. To give an idea of the technology in action, Ben demonstrates the pencil beam scanning through a bowl of scintillating fluid. He shows how the beam can scan from side to side and how it can also be adjusted to terminate at varying depths in the bowl. Uh, we have scanning deployed in one treatment room at the moment and this has involved countless hours of, of development uh, both on the technical side and also on the treatment planning side.